Located on the Hibiscus Coast, north of Auckland, Ariwa Estuary is a key geomorphic feature that has been subject to large-scale change. An important control of the estuaries is sediment movement in and out. Estuaries are large sediment stores that provide replenishment in a naturally occurring equilibrium setting. Estuaries trap sediment due to tidal circulation and control the outflow back into the system. Ariwa Estuary has had major alterations by humans in the mid-20th century. The estuary mouth used to be further north, where the surf club is now located, however to make the surf conditions safer, the town, with the help of the Air Force, used dynamite to create a new, deeper channel where the estuary mouth is positioned today. This altered processes dramatically and created significant changes to the geomorphic dynamics of the estuary. The estuary mouth is a funneling grey wacky channel with an incredibly fast tidal in and outflow due to human interferences, leaving a huge amount of movement and power available. Significant erosional processes act on the channel bed and banks which are pulled out to sea in a large rip where the sediment is deposited in offshore bars. This sediment is prevented from re-entering the system due to a groin which catches the sediment on the northern end before it is placed back into the system. As a result, as the tide goes out, the sediment is pulled from the estuarine system and gets caught on bars or transported by longshore drift and is intercepted at the groin. Sediment is brought into the system by increased erosion on the southern end of the groin and powerful undercutting of the dune system. The weakened dunes have no protection from the estuary and are more vulnerable in storm conditions which has long term effects on the channel estuary input. Oriwa Estuary has a significantly high sediment loss during storm conditions. Sediment loss at a large geomorphic scale occurs due to sediment being taken from the estuary to replenish Oriwa Beach at the cost of millions annually. This impacts natural channel processes in the estuary as sediment has been removed from the system at a rapid pace. A key protecting geomorphic tool are mangroves, which provide structural integrity and prevents erosion of estuarine coasts. There are movements by the old local people that are trying to remove seedlings at a large scale as they believe it makes the coastline ugly. If the growing movement manages to take out the mangroves there will be a huge impact on the sediment in and outflow of the estuary. So how does this look for the future of Oriwa? With the increased risk of storm damage and corresponding human management schemes, we need to be vigilant of what human impacts have on the shaping of Oriwa estuary. It's likely that development areas will also have a significant impact. Oriwa is a growing suburb with large developments planned upstream of the Oriwa River which will result in sediment runoff into the estuary or streams further up the catchment. As the population grows, it is likely that the council will engage in more significant coastal management tactics on the estuary itself, furthering affecting geomorphic processes.